Hey what's up boys and girls and adults and people of all ages Today I'm coming uh, with a serious video, I'm starting a new series called Serious Time And um, once a month probably Today I'm going to be talking about something I suffer with, sleep apnea And uh, I'm basically talking about if you have sleep apnea Okay so, a lot of people who have sleep apnea don't even know they have sleep apnea a, a loved actor has recently died um, from Star Wars uh, they think that hair death has been associated with sleep apnea so yeah um, it's a fact that 49% of people who are sleep apnea um, if not treated can basically die DIE yeah they can die basically uh, because what is happening as you're living and as you're going to sleep um, you've got this uh, flap in your neck basically and it drops and it stops you from having oxygen and uh, what happens if you choke someone they can't breathe and they eventually die but this is basically doing it slowly you're slowly dying in your sleep and you don't even realize um, it's stopping you from getting oxygen which is cr creating um, basically a uh, penicillin which wakes you up and makes you get fat like me, basically, and it can kill you. It, it increases your chance of having heart attacks, strokes, uh, diabetes, and many more stuff what I, I don't fucking want. So, yeah. So, sleep apnea, like I've just said, is a really serious thing. And I didn't even know I had sleep apnea. Uh, basically, my story of sleep apnea is... Um, my mom and dad told me once that I stopped sleeping. I mean, stopped sleeping in my sleep. How does that work, Brandon? It uh, stopped um, breathing in my sleep once, and uh, that worried me. And this was years ago, and this is a uh, um, this is when I was young, and I didn't even realize. And only recently, I asked my uncle who had sleep apnea, and he was like, he was telling me the symptoms, and I was saying the symptoms. He's like, you definitely have sleep apnea. And I was. I went to the doctors. They sent me off to a sleep clinic, I went through a few tests, which aren't that bad, uh, the only one what I really didn't like was, um, they had to put machine on me, chest and electrodes, sorry, electrodes all over my head, and they wanted me to shave my head, because I had so much hair, uh, put them all over my face and my legs, and basically, uh, I had to sleep in a hospital bed, with all this machine stuff coming out, uh, coming out of me, <laughs> coming out, what? Coming on me. What? <laughs> on me, basically. And um, every 10 to 5 minutes, if I move through the sleep apnea, a woman would come in and adjust stuff while I'm sleeping. So imagine me waking up and a woman over me like, I'm just adjusting. <laughs> I'm just adjusting your wife. Yeah, it's not as bad as it seems. So yeah, um, a fact as well. Another fact is for old people... And big people like myself and really skinny people, I guess, um, we're told that if we carry on, we're not going to be able to live as long as we should be. And uh, I've been told this. I know people have been told this. A lot of people get told this because doctors like to scare people. And um, it scares you and it makes you choke. Uh, <laughs> just makes you do a... Uh, I can't speak. It makes you actually grab life and be like I'm not gonna get fat I'm not gonna be too skinny I'm gonna take control of my life and eat right but basically when they were on about when they were on about sleep apnea and I read up it was basically if you don't get your sleep apnea treated um, and you live with sleep apnea without it treated it takes 10 to 8 years off your life basically so that's 10 years taken away from you for sleeping basically and it's really bad 10 years away from your life so that means you could reach 30 you could be obese and you'll just be dead you, you're dead i'm not trying to be morbid i'm just trying to be um informative i just want people to know how serious sleep apnea is and people don't think it's serious they're like oh you have to wear a mask and you know, it's like but yeah i have to wear a mask so i so i can live 
so I can process in the morning so I can speak because I was getting to the point where I couldn't I couldn't stay awake in school, college and school so here's some of the symptoms uh, loud snoring is a symptom that's obviously a symptom um, I snore extremely loud but now with my mask I don't uh, snore at all because there's positive air pressure going down my throat um, waking up with a sore throat and um, yeah with a sore throat or choking basically um, it proves that uh, you're not getting any oxygen and it makes you yeah it be, it's horrible I know the feeling but I can't explain it it's horrible um, waking up feeling like you can't breathe and choking I've done this a couple of times I've woke up and I'm like <gasps> and like I just come out of a swimming pool and it's horrible um, so if you have that symptom you, you probably do have sleep apnea uh, morning headaches, morning headaches are the worst. Imagine you've just had a, a mint party, you're like, music going, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm. and then the next morning you wake up and your head's still going, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm. that's basically how I feel nearly every day when I didn't have masks. And that's about it with the um, with the symptoms. If it, There's more symptoms on the internet if you go and look, uh, but you're better off going to your doctors and saying, but if you have any of those symptoms, they're the symptoms I had. Um, in the end, what ended up happening, I ended up getting a CPAP, and that uh, stands for Continuous Positive uh, Something Pressure, whatever, yeah. Um, and it's basically, it pushes air down your throat, and it makes you so you can breathe at night, and it's, it's the best thing what I've ever had. Um, also, the best thing I've ever had is getting this sleep apnea pillow. Which has a cut out and it's amazing. It makes you makes you so you can sleep at night. Um, and I just want to talk about the pros and cons now of sleep apnea. Um, like the treatment and having the masks and everything. So uh, let's talk about the cons before we talk about the pros. So sleep apnea pillows uh, can sometimes be uncomfortable. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and I don't think they're uncomfortable. I really enjoy them actually. Um... Makes some people feel claustrophobic. I am a claustrophobic person. I can't be in small spaces. But I don't feel as claustrophobic with that on my face. Um, you get spots and irritations. Uh, that only happens if you don't clean your mask. Or you're not using the humidifier basically. A humidifier is a water. It makes you so you're not chap. Can't sleep on your stomach anymore. Uh, this is a big deal for me because I always sleep on my stomach. I didn't sleep on my back, I slept on my stomach. But I've been I'm getting used to sleeping on my side now. Some people are ashamed that they have sleep apnea. I'm not ashamed of having sleep apnea. Um, I've sorted myself out and now I'm going to live longer. That's uh, if I use my sleep apnea mask every single night, which I do. I haven't missed a day uh, because I know for a fact it's helping me. And people who miss days on them, um, you really do need to start wearing it more. Uh, it helps, trust me. Uh, allergies are extremely hardy. Uh, I would wear my mask in the snow and it's horrible, but uh, you get used to it because it's just like, yeah, it's, just, it's normal. Um, here are the pros now. So um, you can be more rested. You'll wake up and you'll be like, oh, what a lovely day. Instead of being like, oh, I want to kill myself. <laughs> No one wants to be having a stroke or having heart attacks at a young age at my age. Or at any age. And uh, there's loads of more pros. Or, uh, yeah, it's just, it just makes you feel better. It makes you feel like you, you're awake and you can socialise. And when I didn't have it, I was like, oh, I'm depressed. And now that I have it, I feel better with myself now. But still a little bit, like, just a bit, but... I've only had it for like three months, so eventually I'll keep on feeling better, but I do feel better. So what can you do to get yourself a, like, check if you have sleep apnea? Go to your doctors and talk about the symptoms you might have. If you have any of the symptoms what I've discussed with you, uh, you might have sleep apnea, basically. It's better off uh, getting checked than not getting checked because... I was like, oh, I probably don't have it, got it, and I got severe sleep apnea. I stopped breathing uh, within it, within one hour, 60 times, within one hour, 60 times, which is severe, which is really bad, um, and even if they say, oh, you have mild sleep apnea, you still need to wear your mask all the time because it's still, it'll increase and it just gets really bad. 
Um, and I'm not an expert on sleep apnea. I've only read up on stuff and what the doctors have told me. So uh, don't uh, take my advice as someone who's like a professional about it because I, I, I know the symptoms and I know other stuff, but I don't know everything about it. I just know the common things. But hopefully this has made you more aware about sleep apnea. Sleep um, apnea. I hope this has made you more, like I said, aware. Uh, if this has helped in any way, just let me know. Uh, comment in the section below. Um, and if you want more of this kind of thing I'm doing, let me know. Just comment and I'll, I'll be like, yeah, I'll do some more. Don't have nobody to call my own. Thanks guys for watching. I love you so much. Goodbye. Mwah.